Alright, hello and welcome to another Zeta Graphics video tutorial on YouTube. Today we're going to be making something rather interesting and a little more detailed than most people do it. And we're going to be learning how to make flames in Photoshop like the example you see before you. Um, it's not hard effect. Um, there are different ways to make flames in Photoshop. Some people just use a red text. Um, some people use a font that already makes it look like it's flamey. I'm actually going to show you a nice tutorial that will actually give you these beautiful flames. And it takes about five minutes to do. So let's get started. First, we want to open a new document. I'm going to keep mine to default 600 by 500, which was the uh, specs of my last one. So after we get a new document open, what we're going to do is we're just going to start by taking our text tool and I'm using impact it's a font that you should already have its default on your thing and I'm just gonna write flame like so okay I like to keep my flame um, text color a well first I like to keep it large but I also like to keep it a nice um, orange color to start with even though fire is not orange it's well it's orange red but I like to keep it a nice somewhere around there okay so after we have our flame text here what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the layer called flame and we're gonna rasterize the type layer so it's gonna turn into a normal edi editable layer so I'm gonna take my smudge tool over here which is this tool I'm gonna keep my brush on a moderate size that I can use maybe a little bigger it depends on make it about that big compared to your text if you see that and uh, I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna zoom in make sure also that your strength is at 50 percent okay so I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna do this just kinda make it look like it's like when something's caught on fire you get that weird uh, haze like that gas that distorts everything around you and that's what we're creating here is that haze that's distorting the text go through and do that to every letter it can take a little time depending on what you write, but it's the effect is definitely worth it. It it wouldn't look right without it. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we get all the, the text done. Don't be afraid to get a little wild with it. Okay, now that we have the text done, we're going to zoom out here. And you can see we've got quite a cool effect going on. A uh, little touch-ups may be needed, but uh, anyways, after we get that done, we're going to go to Filter, and we're just going to add some Sharpen to it. And it doesn't do much, but it defines a little bit of the edges that didn't get blurred, and it kind of gives it that more of a haze effect like I was talking about. You may not notice it now. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer and we're going to go to layer style and pattern overlay. What I like to do on, I accidentally click lay, gradient overlay, but we're going to pattern overlay. I like to use this pattern down here. Um, I really don't know, it's called web. Yeah, it's called web uh, 20, 200 by 20 it's in the grayscale mode pixels and I think they're in probably in rock textures or something anyways then I'm gonna just scale it up to like right about here and I'm gonna put the blend mode on overlay scale this up to where it looks pretty nice and then we're gonna do that and we're gonna erase some of it with this hundred pixel brush and this is just to add the top flame of definition here 
So we're going to erase a little bit of this. And then we're going to take a new brush and we're going to make layer, new layer. Also to make a new layer you can just go down here and click the little create new layer button. I, uh, I've made it a habit to go to layer, new layer. Anyway, so we're just going to do this action. Maybe a little darker red. Something like that. Okay. This will make the red part of our fire. So we're going to do that. Um, I made a, I used the selection tool. I pressed control and I clicked on the image and now I'm going to select inverse and press delete which will cut it out to the image and then I'm just gonna mess with the opacity until I like it okay that looks nice now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna duplicate this layer after I merge um, I'm gonna unclick the background and click merge visible and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my smudge tool keep about the same settings but put the strength somewhere around 70 something and just drag some flames out maybe 70 is a little too high and just drag some flames out as you can see modify your brushes needed and just just drag straight up I kinda like to make sure they all mesh with each other like there's some kinda flow with it like this should affect that flame and that flame because flames affect each other so just try and keep sure there's a flow in it okay now that we have our basic flame what we're going to do now is we're going to put the brush on a smaller strength and use a smaller brush and make some smaller spiked flames these flames will give it more definition like so and these don't have to be everywhere you can put them across you can put them everywhere if you'd like just try and make the flame stay realistic looking and and you'll have a good result okay not to overdo it now we are going to go and add a well first we're going to duplicate the layer again and then we're going to go to filter and go to sketch and add a chrome filter you can keep it on the default settings uh, some people like to adjust their settings just a little bit to get the best effect I like to try and get most that I can on the bottom and give you something like that and then we're gonna sit that on overlay and then we're just gonna drag it till it looks right it's it's looking pretty good on hard light and it's looking really good on linear light so I'm gonna use linear light fix the opacity as needed and I'm gonna take the brush tool I'm just gonna brush away at some of the top like so and that'll give us a beautiful easy flame effect now if you want to go further with this you can always uncheck the background merge visible and do more details a lot of people like to go and add a drop shadow but it's all up to you now so now that you have your flame congratulations add some smoke add whatever and thank you uh, once again this tutorial is from zetagraphics.com and please come back and use us for all your photoshop needs and subscribe thank you bye